Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use OR function in Excel. OR function takes logical arguments and it returns true if any one of the argument is true and false if all of the arguments are false. So let me show you how this works. I type OR and I hit tab to auto complete the function. You can see it takes logical arguments. It can take up to 255 logical arguments and it analyzes all of these and if all of them are false then it returns false but if any of these logical arguments is true then OR returns true. So here I manually type true and false. Now you can see this returns true because one of the arguments, the first one, is true. I can also use cell references, so I type or I hit tab and I can use these cell references. I can use them either one by one, so I can uh, have a2 comma a3 and then I can analyze this and it returns true because one of them is true or I can use a continuous range. So I can select both of these like this and I can see that it still returns a true. As I said it would return a false if both of the conditions are false. So if I type false and false again oops, it will return a false. You can also use logical arguments in terms of conditions so you can provide conditions, Excel would analyze those conditions and if it returns true then OR would return true but if all of those conditions return false then this would return false. So to show you this let me put in a condition, a logical condition which is 3 is greater than 1 which is obviously true and 3 is less than 3 which is false. But since one of them is true it returns true. I can use uh, these arguments true and false within double quotes and Excel would know that I mean to use true and false even though they are in double quotes and as I hit enter this returns true because one of them is true. Also you can use numbers but in case of OR since it's analyzing logical arguments any positive number which is greater than 0 obviously is considered true and 0 is considered false. So in this case if I take 3 and 2 both of these numbers are considered true because these are greater than 0 and when I hit enter it gives me a true. Let me show you what happens if I only use 0 oops I type 0 comma 0 and you can see that when I hit enter it returns false because 0 is considered false by OR. So this is how OR function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.